Now let us look at the evolution of gaseous exchange system. So the evolution of gaseous exchange systems. What is the gaseous exchange system? That is the nothing but the respiratory system. We have lungs. We discussed that the pathway various organs concerned for respiration in human beings. Nose, nostrils, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli. So the alveoli are units of lungs. We have lungs to breathe. But if you observe the different organisms, right from the unicellular organism amoeba to man, we can find different different types of respiratory systems. This is a gradual evolution, progress in the complexity and its working and its structure. Now let us, if you observe the unicellular organism like an amoeba, it has, it has only one cell. It is a single cell animal. How does it get oxygen? It don't have any lungs or respiratory organs. It is not having any systems because the organism itself, a single cell, how does it get? It gets the oxygen from the atmosphere, that is from the water in which it lives. The oxygen directly diffuses into its cell by a process called as diffusion. You studied about this diffusion process in ninth class in the lesson cell cell membrane or plasma membrane. There you studied how the diffusion of gases and materials takes place through the cell, uh, cell membrane. So here the cell has got cell membrane in which the oxygen is diffused directly. They, do, they don't need any system. Not only amoeba, amoeba, hydra, hydra, planaria, planarians, many of the unicellular and smaller organisms, they get the oxygen directly diffused into their bodies. If you observe insects like cockroaches, grasshoppers and ants, if, the, if, you, if you observe these kind of arthropods or insects, if you observe a cockroach, Cockroach, it has got some pipe-like networks for the process of gaseous exchange, which is called as tracheal system. They have got some pipes in their bodies and the air enters these pipes directly and these pipes are supplied into the various muscles of their body through which the air enters into the various muscles through these pipes. There the exchange of gases between muscles and air takes place by diffusion. So tracheal system is observed in insects like cockroaches, grasshoppers, ants and so on. So that kind of respiration or uh, uh, exchange system is observed. If you look at little higher animals like fishes, if you see the fishes, If you observe the fish, the fish has got a mouth cavity. The fish, it has to get the oxygen from the water. So how does it get? What is the exchange system in fishes? So the water, it flows into the mouth of the fish. You might have observed that fishes, they open and close their mouth. You might have observed a fish in an aquarium. It opens and closes its mouth to draw the water into its mouth. So as the fish, it draws the water into its mouth, the water enters into the oral cavity of the fish. So now the fish, it lowers the, it raises the bottom oral cavity. So when it closes the mouth, the water is pushed into the pharynx. From where the water is passed through the gills, which are present on both sides of its head. So gills are red color organs, which are richly supplied with blood. So when the water is pushed through the gills, the gills are richly supplied with blood vessels. And when the water is crossing the gills, exchange of gases takes place between the water and gills. After exchange, the water is sent out. This kind of respiration is called as 
branchial respiration. Branchial respiration. So the next one, we have seen diffusion, tracheal system, branchial system. The other higher animals are reptiles like snakes, lizards and tortoises and uh, other animals like mammals, birds, all these higher animals, they have lungs to breathe air. Lungs. We call these system, uh, the, we call these respiratory system as pulmonary, pulmonary respiratory system. In which the lungs are the organs for the exchange of gases. Lungs are observed in all the higher animals. So in unicellular and very small animals, we find the process of diffusion for exchange of glass. And in insects, we find the tracheal system. And in uh, fishes, we see the branchial respiratory system. And in other higher animals, we see the pulmonary system. In some cases like frogs, they have a moist skin. Frogs and salamanders, they have moist skin in which they can exchange the gases through their moist skin. So the air comes in contact with their moist skin, there the exchange of gases takes place. So there is moist skin, we call this as cutaneous respiration, the respiration through skin. So these are the various ways how different animals exchange the gases.